That's a pretty nice one. <laughs> Just hooked right in the top of the mouth. Or two. Cheers. Stop uh, hanging your hooks up around your shack. Breakfast is served. Buddy, hey, you're gonna wanna take those off. Here you go, bud. Here, they're the brand new ones. I was gonna give you the ones that had a hole in them, but you deserve ones that don't. Alright folks, at home today, we're trying to do a speed run laker. I've been up since 3 a.m. prepping food, getting ready for this camping trip, and we got out on the lake a little bit later than we wanted to. It's about 8.30 in the morning, we're going to see what we can do. I didn't really explain what this was last time. It's essentially a tip-up, but you can fight it with a rod and reel, so it's called an iFish Pro. I'll leave a link to one of these in the description. All right, so one thing we're doing first here is just setting up this live well. You guys remember in the last video where we came out and did this, we used the live well to revive the fish. If you guys are gonna do a live well like this, make sure you scoop out all of the slush because the slush can actually injure the fish's gills. I know there's a couple shots in the last one where you can see the fish coming out with slush in its mouth. Um, and I just wanted to reiterate that so people aren't going around thinking that's like a good thing to do. <laughs> I marked one over there. So I'm, I'll probably go set up there. All right, little mid-afternoon update. No fish yet. Um, I'm getting kind of cold out here. and also getting a little hungry, so I'm gonna set the house up. I just drilled myself a double hole. Now I'm gonna go back and grab the snowmobile and move the house over here. Oh. I know some of you are probably curious how this house gets set up, so I thought better just show you. Um, you can see there's like a little, I don't even know what the, you'd call it, but you, you get the idea now. <sighs> I've been getting a lot of questions asking uh, what kind of cod I use to ice camp. And I actually just bought this one off Amazon, it's called Tenton. Tetan? Ten, Tetan? Not sponsored by the company or anything, but I will leave a uh, a link to this one in the description below. If you guys buy anything, like if you just click on that link and you literally buy anything on Amazon, you support the channel, so store stuff underneath it. With other cots, you have to like pull as hard as you can and then like push this down. But these guys have a basically an assembly assist. This lever thing goes into this other red part. There you go. And believe it or not, it's actually a lot easier than most cots. I like this style. <laughs> We're not catching sh This isn't even going to be that hard either because it's freaking already cooked. You're welcome. Well, don't thank me yet. You gotta try it. You made this at three in the morning. This <laughs> yeah, three in the morning. This morning. <laughs> yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> Definitely feeling very tired, as you can imagine from. The early morning that I had, oh, it's like three in the afternoon now. So I've officially been up for 12 hours. Slow day of fishing. I just marked a 
my second fish of the day wasn't very aggressive. I think Dan's marked a handful also. Some about food, man. It's making me way sleepier. Might have to take a little 20 minute siesta. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the bail. I'm just gonna loosen my drag so that it can pull out really easy. Foolproof. All right, I'm gonna get comfortable and go to bed for a little bit. Hey Siri, set an alarm for 30 minutes. Dan, Dan, fish! Dan, fish! Fish on! It broke off. How is that even possible? Oh my god. Oh my god, my flag's on. Man, flag! Alright, Dan's no in sight, it's almost the backing. I'm gonna set. Dan's sleeping or something, I don't know what's going on. All right, he's right by the hole. He might be a little bigger than I thought. Dan! Barn door's open. Frickin' Dan's nowhere to be found. This stuff. Is no joke. All right, I'm at leader. Oh, it's a pretty nice one. Oh, it's a pretty freaking nice one. Oh, it's a pretty nice one. <laughs> Dude, come on. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Oh, man. Look at this fish. Just hooked right in the top of the mouth. You know what? Oh my gosh, this is the same fish that ate my freaking bait in the inside. This is the same fish. This is my Cisco rig. This is my Cisco rig. This is what's hanging onto it is the freaking Cisco rig from inside. Buddy! I was sleeping. My bait on the inside went off. It broke off and then we got a freaking dandy. A dandy. Definitely not as big as the last one, but that's a good fish, dude. What do you think? Like 38 maybe? I got a tape in my pocket, I think. 37, 38. 36 almost? 35 and a half. 35 and a half? But he's yeah. thick. Look how fat he is. Dude. Mouth Good. on him. This is an old fish. Look at that jaw. All right. Going back home. Dude! Dude. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Come on. We're on to something. It's so good, man. I was yelling for you. I was screaming. <laughs> you were dead asleep. I was asleep. <laughs> nice fish, man. So Come good. Come on, dude. Yes, all, all luck, though. Yeah, all luck. <laughs> what did I miss? Let's go. We're going to re-rig right now. Look at how crazy those fish teeth are. That's why you need to be using 25 pound fluoro right there. Yeah, see so if we can get one more bite before it gets dark out. So something else that I wanted to address that was in the comment section of the last trout video, uh, people were questioning why I let that fish go. And um, they're saying that it was gonna be good eating and that I didn't understand why I'd let a fish go that was that big. Um, and that's actually why I let it go is because it's that big. Uh, fish, like I just caught a 36 inch lake trout takes anywhere from like 40 to 50 years to get that big um they're really old fish and there's not a whole lot of them around i like i'd like for people to be able to come 
to lakes like this and enjoy and, it. Uh, I don't need to keep a fish that big. If I uh, stumble across like a 20 incher, um, I'd consider keeping one. But a trophy fish like that is responsible for a uh, a lot of reproduction. And to be honest, when they get that big, they really don't taste that good. So protect the resource, you know, uh, protect big fish like that. Let the big ones go, keep the middle of the road ones. And uh, that's just how I roll. Anyway. Holy cow. <laughs> oh. Let's trade the boots back out for slippers. Yeah, boy! I'm in a coma. I, I can't say anything. Dan and I's houses are so far apart, I feel like I should go check on him. See if he's awake or he's hungry. Make sure the guy's all right, you know? What's up, mister? What's going on? <laughs> are, you, are you just up and at him in here, or did you just wake up? No, I've been up and at him for the last, like, half hour, 45 minutes, but I was out, dude. I took a little nap ski, too. Dude, Can I come uh, and sit in there for a little bit? Yeah, of course. No more flags, no more action. No. Oh, come shut on. up, dude. Come on. That's a fish right underneath Dan's lure, or piece of meat right there. Well, not, you know, like the Cisco. He just went back down to bottom, but that was a big fish. Maybe it's a burbot. <laughs> this isn't a designated trail lake. There's pike and burbot and whatever the heck else in here. So we could catch something else tonight, but the odds of that are probably pretty unlikely. Has Aaron Weeb even ever caught a lake trail at night? Hmm? Have you, Weeb? I'm just going to keep you around for free entertainment. <laughs> I guess so, guys. Stop uh, hanging your hooks up around your shack. Put them away like a smart person. Oh, my God. You got it. Yeah. Do you want, like, a clapping thing there? Yeah, like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, guys, here's a little tour of Big Dano's house. Oh, yeah. It's pretty much like mine, except smaller. Glizzies! Venison glizzies. Venison glizzies, let's go. Oh, you're just gonna drop it right on him? Matt, go grab one of those venison glizzies. Uh -huh. I'm gonna send it down with a double treble hook, put it right on bottom. No. Let's grab that one. Yeah. Two. Cheers. Look who's back. How fast he is. We are gonna go to bed. Still can't believe we caught one today. I mean, it doesn't feel like that actually happened. Well, we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Oh God. Well, my gear is frozen, so. Oh, there's a fish on here. Dan! Flag! Dan! Yeah, it's on here. Hurry up. I gotta set this hook. I'm just gonna set it. Oh, he's on. I'm already at leader. Oh, it's a burb. Holy cow, look at this thing. Wow. Pouting. It's just a burbot. All right, check them out. Big old eel pout. Woo! Bye. Bud's finally coming. Well, sorry for waking you up. Oh. 
some of you may be wondering why I have such a big battery. It's because I have to worry about keeping cameras charged. Right now I'm charging up all my GoPro batteries. It definitely is nice to have something this size. If you're gonna be out for like, you know, a weekend or something. But if you're gonna just be charging your phone and running lights, you can get by with something like this. What the heck, dude? A fish already grabbed it. Dan, fish on! Dan, fish on! Dan! Dan, fish on! It grabbed it on the drop, bro! Dude, hurry up, bro! He's gotta be so sick of this, dude. Oh, he's off. Yeah, he's probably like 30. I uh, wish I would have landed that fish. It was probably about like a mid 30 inch lake trout again. It was a nice one. I saw it flash by the hole and then the hook was only left on the ice. So must have got a hold of the bottom of the ice and did one shake and lost tension and the fish is gone. So we're gonna set tip ups up, fish for the rest of the day, but we'll keep you posted if anything else happens. What do you wanna do? Make some breakfast? You got eggs? I'll take eggs whenever you got them. Oh, it's a leg trout! Everything is covered in snow. Sugar feared lake trout. Huge. Holy sh! <laughs> oh my god. This thing's the size of my head. Breakfast is served. Thanks for breakfast, <laughs> bud. Good stuff. Alright, guys, we're all packed up. Got off the lake. Didn't really end how we wanted it to. Dan ended up finding a spooled eye fish pro and I missed a fish this morning. So, you know, they all can't be amazing days. It's a rough end of the day, but that's just kind of how our whole day was going. Thanks again to Dan for coming along with me and showing me around. And thanks again to you guys for watching. Until next time, just keep on trucking.